Hey guys, welcome to Homework Codes. In this video, I'm going to explain you something about intermediate time or event. And this is the sample process. So where we have start event, time or event, intermediate time or event, and use a task and an end event. We are going to uh, create work items uh, through the start event and those work items will be sent to uh, the time or event, intermediate time or event. So here we need to specify uh, the time thing here. Okay. So it will be like, you know, uh, the time of definition type and then the time of definition. So it will be available under the general section when you when you click on the time or event. So you have to choose uh, one among these three actually. So you can choose date or you can choose duration or you can choose cycle. The only thing is if you choose a date, you need to specify, uh, you know, the date here. If you choose duration, you need to specify uh, the duration like, you know, 15 seconds, one minute or one hour, 30 minutes. So like that, you need to specify it here. And if you choose cycle, you need to specify the repetitive cycle here. Okay, those things are available in the community documentation. You can refer this link for that. So here they have specified everything. So for time, time type, so we can specify the time like this. So if it is duration, so we can give PT 15 seconds or PT 1 hour 30 minutes or uh, P 14 days. So, so like this, we can specify the time duration. And if it is cycle, we can specify it like R5 slash PT 10 seconds, R slash P one day. So like that, we can specify it. In our sample process, we have configured the time thing like uh, duration and uh, 15 seconds. Okay. So now once we submit the work item from the start event, it will be sent to uh, the time or event. It will be waiting for 15 seconds and then it will be moved to the user task. Okay. So now let's test the uh, process. So we already have few more work items in the user task. Don't consider that. Let me create few. have created one now there should be one work item in the timer event yes it is there it should be there for 15 seconds Now the work item got moved to the user task after 15 seconds. Okay guys, this is how uh, the timer event works. Okay, we'll see you in the next video with some other uh, topic. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe our channel.